Hey, what's up? My name is Janique. Welcome back to Janique TV. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If this is your first time here, go ahead and lock in with me by clicking on that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell. That way you don't miss an episode of anything that I do here. Today, I want to talk to you about the importance of moving in silence. I think people are moving too loud these days. It's, it's too much going on. It's too much of this. It's too much bragging. It's too much of that. We know your whole life. Y'all doing home tours. Y'all doing all kind of crazy stuff. Y'all are not realizing the power of the internet. Like anybody could can drop a dime on you. Anybody could, could leak your location. All a person got to do is go online. They can see everything about you in regards to your home, in regards to uh, where you sleep at, your cars, like your location. Like people can see all these things about you. And I think it's important to start moving smarter. Seriously, especially after what happened with um, PNB Rock, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people like to blame the girlfriend, but it's, it's not about the, the girlfriend. It's about just making smarter decisions about where you go, you know, in general. But especially who you surround yourself with and who you bring with you. This is going to bring me to a story in the Bible of when um, King Hezekiah, he let some people come over to his house. And this is what happened, okay? So I'm coming from 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 12. And it says, at that time, Marduk, Baal Ladon, I don't know the words, y'all, y'all don't got to work with me, son of Baladon, king of Babylon, sent Hezekiah letters and a gift because he had heard of Hezekiah's illness. Hezekiah received the envoys and showed them all that was in his storehouses. Mm. The silver, the gold, the spices, the fine olive oil, his armory, and everything found among his treasures. There was nothing in his place or in all his kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. So for those of you who don't know, an envoy is a messenger. So, so another king sent Hezekiah letters, a gift, and messengers, right? When he... When he got the messengers, when the messengers came to his house, he showed them everything in his house. He showed them the gold, the silver, the spices, the olive oil, the armory. He showed them everything. He showed them his weapons, his treasures. He showed them everything. There was not a place in his palace or kingdom that, the, that Hezekiah did not show them. So now I'm going to head to chapter 20, verse 14. It says, Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked, What did those men say and where did they come from? From a distant land, Hezekiah replied, they came from Babylon. The prophet asked, what did they see in your palace? They saw everything in my palace, Hezekiah said. There is nothing among my treasures that I did not show them. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, hear the word of the Lord. The time will surely come when everything in your palace and all that your predecessors have stored up until this day will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. Some people come to your house, you don't even know who they are. You show them everything in your possession, everything that you have. You lay all your cards out on the table. They leave, they take the information, and they go back to who they came from. You don't even know who sent them for real. You know what I'm saying? They go back to where they came from. They spread the message and hear what the Lord says. The Lord says that you you will lose everything. Everything that you have stored up, you you will lose it all because you were bragging. That's that's And that's that's really what it's about. That's really what it's about. You were really bragging. Why are you showing people everything that you got going on? Like, it's, it, it's not relevant to me, you know, especially in this day and age where social media is really becoming more of a um, of a business than it is anything. It's not really a place where you are wanting to or should be posting all your personal information. You know, people are really intrusive and I don't think people recognize that. You see people under celebrities' comments and they be asking them personal questions like, bro, why is a celebrity your life? You feel me? But this this story is really telling to how we should be moving in today's age. You have to move in silence. That way you can keep everything that you have. When you start bragging about something, and everybody knows this happens, like for real. When you start bragging about something, you lose it. Right? When you start when you start bragging about an opportunity, it never happens. When you start bragging about this this job that you got, this career you finna start, when you start bragging about that, you you never go through with it. That's why I move in silence. When I moved to Houston, people could not understand, like, <clears throat> why didn't you tell me? That's all I ever kept hearing. And people were getting mad at me for not telling them, but this is why I couldn't tell you because it wouldn't have happened for me. If I would have sat right there and like been telling you all my business and posting it on Instagram every day, I remember I remember how people used to be like, oh, I'm going to take this flight. I can't wait for this flight to come this week. I can't wait to go out of town this week. Like, dang, you are telling all your information. Stop announcing it and just do it. We'll know that you're there when you're there. You don't have to lead, like, lead up to, to the date that you're going on a vacation. Come on. You feel what I'm saying? So... 
I just want everybody to be in the safest place possible in the best position possible and the best position is in your own business okay this is a letter to those on the other side as well mind your own business stop trying to get in other people's business because those messengers really came to get in his business and they got all up in his business so this is this is also telling of the type of people you may have around you you have to recognize who's around you like for real like to rock with you or who's around you just to get information People be all in your business and you don't know nothing about them. Cut them off, okay? And you can tell them I said it. I hope you got something from my message today. If not, that's okay too. There's some other messages you can check out. My name is Janique. Thank you so much for watching. Especially if you say this long, go ahead and like this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Janique here, Janique TV. Peace.